and joining us with details of those results. Kim? Well, Alan, to prevent rejection and organ damage, patients need to take powerful and expensive drugs for the rest of their lives. Now, Stanford doctors have come up with a way around that. About two years ago, 38-year-old Meg Alduino of San Jose needed a kidney transplant. The donor, her sister Elizabeth. Stanford doctors told the New Yorker she was a perfect match. And then she called me all excited and said, look, they have this amazing protocol going on. You know, I think we should do this. Meg and Elizabeth did. They joined a small clinical trial at Stanford. The goal, to train Meg's body to accept her sister's donated kidney as if it were her own, without the lifelong need for powerful anti-rejection drugs. This has been the, uh, uh, so to speak, the holy grail of uh, organ transplantation over many years to do the organ transplantation without drugs. Dr. Samuel Strober headed up the team. He says while the use of anti-rejection medication is critical, the drugs come at a cost. The main side effects are infection, uh, high blood pressure, uh, increased risk of cancer, increased risk of diabetes, and increased risk of heart disease. And they even can damage the kidneys. A month before the transplant, Stanford scientists did an abundance of blood stem cells from Elizabeth. After the transplant, Meg was started on anti-rejection drugs. Over a two-week period, she had radiation that targeted and suppressed her immune system. It was a, a small price to pay. Then, through an IV, her sister's stem cells were introduced into Meg's body to mix and become part of Meg's immune system. We inject the donor blood stem cells and then they began to grow in the bone marrow and immune tissues of the recipient. Six months later, Meg was weaned off all anti-rejection drugs. That was 18 months ago. She's back to living an active life with her husband and two kids. Thanks to her sister and... I would just give a shout out to the team at Stanford because they're amazing. Dr. Strover says the challenge right now is to go from these perfectly matched patients who are tissue matched with their donors to patients who are less well matched, sort of half matched, so that almost any sibling or parent or child could be a donor. That would greatly increase the number of potential donors mm -hmm. and greatly improve the lives of thousands and thousands of patients. Uh, widen that window. Absolutely. Bit, yeah. Really exciting. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be right back.